Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 5, Strings. Today we're going to make a Mad Lib, or a special story. Uh, you can find examples at eduplace.com slash tales. So I already wrote my own story called Robotic Story, and in it I've left blanks that the person reading the story will fill in. So we're going to use strings, and that is going to be the information that the user puts into the story. So go to your string palette. Strings are essentially just strings of characters or just words. Uh, combo box will let us choose from a couple specific words. They won't be able to type in anything they want. So get a combo box for he and she. You can go control click on it and edit the items. And for gender, we want to give them the choice of being a he or a she. So go ahead and insert he and she. So now when they come, they'll have a choice of he or she. All right, so I'm filling in options, words for them to put in that they will be replacing in the story. And I'm trying to go a little bit quickly here. All you're doing is making string controls. And I'm cleaning it up a little bit. You can see there's also a number greater than one. That is actually a numeric control. We also need some string indicators. That's where the story will be placed after they press the run button. Just remember that string controls are information that the user puts in. The indicators will be information that the user gets out. Make sure that you save your work. Command S is the shortcut for saving. Looks like we have our front panel finished. Let's go to the block diagram. We have lots of blocks corresponding to the controls and indicators. Go ahead and go to the string palette. And you'll see you have many options. String length, that'd be how many letters are in the word. Concatenate means to put two strings together. We have lots of options. We are going to start by concatenating strings. That means putting two strings together. We want to put the name of the person along with the word hello. That will go into the greeting. So we want to put together the word hello and their name. And we can wire those together, sending the information to the greeting. Now for the story. The story is too long to concatenate strings together, so what we're going to do is take the story. It has those words like your name, gender, and adjective. And we're going to find them and replace them. So first I need to copy the story into my block diagram. So I make a string constant. I go to my story. I use command C to copy. Command C is the short for copying and command V is the shortcut for pasting. So now the story is in my program and I'm going to use the block for searching and replacing. This block will look for the strange words that I give it, like your name, gender, adjective, and verb, and then it will replace those with the words that the user gave me. So I need a little bit more space, so I'm tiling my block diagram here. All right, so we need to give the story as the input string to the block 
meaning that is the story needs to go into the block in the input string. Search string will be the word we want to look for, and replace string will be the word that we want to have take its place, that we want to replace it with. So let's try and find the word verb in the story and replace it with the word that the user put into the verb block. Eventually, this is go all going to end up into the robotic story indicator. Let's now search for the word adverb. And then give it what the user wanted. Okay, we have a few more. We need to search for exclamation. I'm moving it over just so I can read it a little bit better. We need to search for the word gender, so we'll give it that. And we also need to do adjective. There's one little problem with the number greater than one. It is a number, it is not a string, so we need to make sure that when we replace it, we change the number to a string first. So first search for number greater than one. Then we need to change this number to a string so that we can give it to the replace. And there is a block for changing numbers to strings. It's on string number conversion, number to a decimal string. So wire that into the block. And now we can take that information into the search and replace. All right, that goes into robotic story. Let's test out our program. All right, looks like we missed a couple things. We missed the your name in the story and the second gender. So we need to add another search and replace. Need to search for your name and then wire it all the way back to the your name block. So that fixes the your name. Then there is an option on the search and replace block to search for more than one. And the context help isn't really helping, it's not showing it. But if we go back to our block, we can say replace all. That should be a true. We want to create a constant and replace all of them that show up in the story. So let's try running the story again. This time I'm going to give my name, an adjective, verb, adverb, and an exclamation and run it. Now you can see that the story worked. Your challenge is to make your own Mad Lib story and have a friend test it out.